All right, so up next, we're going to draw a square thread. And the profile is pretty straightforward. Again, I'm going to probably draw it out in space and then uh, align it up into position. So um, let's do, I don't know, how about a, a diameter of 2? Oh, I'm not sure what happened there. And then... Do a little longer shaft this time just to give it a different feel. These threads are nice and hardy, so maybe it'll look cooler this way. Um, we will do offset of three again. <clears throat> okay, so if you look here, the profile is a half pitch for each gap half pitch, half pitch down. So you basically have a square profile. And, uh, you know, for each two threads, you have a pitch instead of, you know, a typical one. But really the second one is an inward cut. So you have outward, inward, and that's one thread tooth, basically. Um, and then looking wherever it was, yeah, right here, um, it, it follows the same approach, basically. So if you have two starts, it's going to go down. And if you have three or one, uh, it's going to go up. So I'm going to do a single for this one first. <clears throat> and uh, we'll go ahead and do, I'm going to copy again from here. I think I've been using a similar size every time. Um, I think that's two that I choose two. Yeah. So we will do a two with... Mm, two threads per inch because they're really freaking difficult uh square cool so um i'm gonna again copy this little guy because that's just gold huh the bad pasting oh no wonder i've got this on okay so move this guy in the place okay so since we have two TPI um, you know that means that it's going to be 0.5 for one set of teeth so that means it should be 0.25 uh, for each square <coughs> I always like to have a little extra there. So anyway, um, this should be one thread. And if I can dimension better, that is our pitch, 0.5. And I am going to try this time around to um, draw this one a little different. Um, if you're not careful, you can very easily lose track of where you are and uh, end up messing this one up because it's just kind of intricate. So... So anyway, um, we're going to start with an up. So I'm just going to move this into place. And I'm going to delete this line because, you know, we know where this is going to be. <coughs> Actually, if I can delete this little guy. Yeah, okay. You know, I usually like to resist having lines but this stuff's so difficult it's better to keep this part separate really so anyway uh we've got this and then because it is a single star it's going to be the same premise where you just copy and paste it straight down um so i'm going to copy first of all and paste it across here Delete this before it gets out of hand. And it looks like that lined up perfectly, which that makes sense, you know, because it's uh, a whole number. So now uh, we can go ahead and delete off some of this extra stuff. Just copy all of this.
and uh, yep, yeah, gonna have to move it from over here. This one's convenient. And uh, you know, since this is the end, I can actually just uh, extend this here, delete this guy. So anyway, um, <coughs> oh no, bad click. I apologize, it's really late at night. Okay, so when you're doing this, um, you know, it's the same premise. So if I were to go straight down, I go to the next two. And that is because it's a single lead. And this is a right hand thread. So I'm just going to go down here and connect the dots. Uh, technically, you know, you also will be doing a little different trick in a minute, but I'll, I'll wait and show that. So first things first, we have our uh, P and let's see, I showed that wrong actually, I think. So when you're looking at, this is a two start, but it's the same premise. Um, yeah, so from here to our half P is there. And then from that same straight down line, which is here, you have the line that connects to it. So, uh, you know, you've got your lead of P and your start, I guess you would call it. it, doesn't even have a name, but your start of half P. So take note. Um, so then the next thing you really have to do after this is, <clears throat> in my opinion, probably the easiest way is to mirror it. But basically, you need to draw it on the back side. <clears throat> it's a little different with square threads because it is visible. But um, you have to have this here so that you can trim out the excess. Because these vertical lines actually hold no meaning whatsoever. Uh, it's a strange idea, but you know it does check out for whatever reason. Uh, some people actually don't even draw it with the square profile. They'll actually just draw slants, but I like to be able to see what I'm drawing. So I usually take that a little extra step. Maybe it takes a little more time, but you know, I feel a hundred percent accurate when I draw it this way. So no complaints here. So um, then, you know, we would basically need to copy this portion over to this guy. <clears throat> so now that we have that, we have this portion here where it has the information translated everywhere. You know, like each of these is kind of incomplete, but now I have this guy. So what I can do is then, um, I'm missing something here, but I can then translate this section to this section, okay? And basically, from earlier, this was the end of the squares. You could have left them if you wanted. Um, basically, I'm connecting the dots. And you know, it probably is harder to see. So maybe I should reluctantly undo. OK, so basically what I'm doing is connecting this side to this side, this side to this side, and so on, basically, all the way through. Uh, it's nothing crazy, of course, but, you know, something you got to do. And then, yeah, I'm, I got to do it on the back end, too. Um, not for everything. Like this one, uh, I, don't, I don't think you need, but we'll get there. And basically, once I have all that, I can just, uh, I'm going to delete this and mirror it or copy it. Okay, so now I've got a nice convoluted mess. So let's go ahead and trim it up. We know that this is going to be on the top and passing this way, so I can trim everything in this main section's way. And that makes it a little more clear. And I'm going to do the same here, just so we can kind of get an idea. Okay, so now we know that this is on the back side behind the screw thread, because you're kind of judging depth here. So I can, you know, as I go through, quickly eliminate all that. 
And uh, yeah, unfortunately, it's the same here. Basically, I drew it this way so you could see uh, that, you know, looking at it, it is completely hidden behind there. So you don't need it. All right. So I think I deleted too much that time. So I can go ahead and trim. And then I can delete this and this. I can trim this out again because apparently I did that. <laughs> um, so then this is going to be in front of it. So <clears throat> yeah, I have it on here. I got to look at it a little more myself. I'm actually going to delete this out. <clears throat> And then I'll go ahead and delete this one, too, because I'm going to, well, I'll leave it for visualization's sake. So I'm going to trim out this portion, which I don't really need to. It's behind the viewing area, but I need to trim this other one. So I can delete that. And then this traverses here, so this one is going to be above the line. So then this one's also going to be above it. And this kind of profile varies. It really depends on what you got going on. But uh, you know, that's pretty much the gist of it. So then once you got it in place, you know, you can just uh, delete this and this is also going to be trimmed because it's behind this part and now it's becoming a lot more clear you've got this clear edge this clear edge and uh, I need to trim out this part and you can kind of tell because like obviously there should be no vertical lines when you're done so then I can go ahead and delete all these vertical lines again now that it's completely modeled out. I can grab it. And I can copy and paste. And then this bottom one, we'll, uh, we'll just copy and paste it over. <clears throat> and, you know, it depends on what's going on with the model. But um, I actually should have copied this up here, too. I think some of it would have transferred. Probably just this line, actually. So anyway, um, depending on how your traversal is, you know, you, you may have this little extra here. You may not. If you do, in this case, it's just trimmed. In other ones, you'll have um, some definition on the other side, too. But we do not in this case. So you just have this little bit here. Um, you know, I hate to do it, but I really need to copy this portion just to make sure it's... Uh, there's no overlap here. It's probably going to be an undo. Yeah, okay. So we had it right. Cool, cool. So uh, down here, I need to do the same. Mm. On this one, I'm missing my line, though. Let's see. So this one is that square here, so it should connect to the no longer visible square here. Is it a perfect process drawing these? No. And that's why I do think the other way is easier, but you're really not going to visualize it right if you don't do it this way. So 
Uh, I'm going to copy this piece because I missed it. There we go. Got that in there. Trim that off. And you know, thinking about it, um, technically I believe I would have, yeah, a little overhang here as well. Not much, but just this little bit right here. <clears throat> um, so then, let's see, let's make sure we got each one. We do not. All right, so there's each one of those. So yeah, that's pretty much it for a square thread. Um, it's it's really hard to uh, get the dots connected right, but you know basically this is going to be a rough shape. It's kind of like a um, I don't know a, a deformed seven, you know, kind of turned sideways. Uh, it you know it's not great, and if you had a chamfer on it, man, it it looks goofy, but. That's going to be it for this one.